Buying products at wholesale prices and reselling them on Amazon is one of the quickest ways to grow your Amazon business. In this video, I'll share with you one of my favorite techniques on how to find these products and their suppliers. Hi, I've been selling on Amazon since 2016 and wholesale accounts for over 25% of my seven figures business. And this is how I got started. All right, so before we begin, I wanted to share a little bit of my story in case you're in the same situation as I was a couple of years ago. When I first started doing wholesale for Amazon FBA, I really just didn't know where to get started. I didn't know what to do. And just like anything new, you know, you feel like a newbie, you feel like a rookie, right? It's daunting to learn something new. Sometimes you get paralyzed by it. For me, just the idea of reaching out to legit distributors and wholesalers was very intimidating. I was paralyzed by the fear of getting rejected if I were to reach out to them. And you can be stuck in that mindset for many, many, many months. So what I'm trying to say is take action. And with the actions that you'll take, you'll see and experience it for yourself that it wasn't all that bad after all so obviously at first you don't really know what to do but as you progress and gain more experience you know how to find these products and how to contact and deal with these suppliers and soon enough what you discover is that the market is extremely untapped there are so many products that are not yet on amazon there are so many products that are not fully optimized on amazon and there are also an endless amount of brands that want to sell on amazon but just don't know how or where to begin and that is a gap to be filled and where there is a gap to be filled there is a business opportunity and i think this is where us as amazon sellers this is where we come in with our expertise we bridge that gap we help them sell their products on amazon we make money along the way they make money along the way everybody wins all right so let's begin so the logic here is that we're going to find products that are already selling on Amazon anywhere from $500 to $5,000 every month in revenue. That's going to serve as some sort of guarantee that if we were to buy that product, it has some sales history and then that we're not going to be stuck with it. And the number two criteria is that we're going to look for products that are poorly listed on Amazon. And the first sign of a poorly listed product on Amazon is that it has three images or less. Now, why are we looking for these poorly listed products on Amazon is that they have been neglected. And if we were to improve those listings, we would get more sales and it gives us an opportunity to work with the supplier to improve their product catalog on Amazon. So you can do this manually by scouting around on Amazon, but it's gonna take you hours and obviously it's not optimal. Well, lucky for us, there is a software that exists. It's called Helium 10. That's gonna help us speed up the process and find those products very quickly. Now, Helium 10 is a paid software, but they do have a free version where you can sign up. You will have limited usage every day. Uh, the link will be in my description below. And whenever you're ready to upgrade, you just upgrade and get the discounts from the link. All right, so once you've created your account and you log into Helium 10, the first time you log in, you might feel a little bit overwhelmed. It's an extremely powerful tool. There are many features in it, but for today's video or today's exercise, we're only gonna need to use one of their tools. And the tool that we're gonna use is called Blackbox. Now you can find Blackbox on the menu to the left under product research and Blackbox. I want you to click on that and you'll land in a product page that looks like something like this. Now in Blackbox, there are five different sections, product keywords and all that. We're gonna ignore all of that. We're just gonna go and make sure that we're in the product section and we're gonna open up the advanced filters. Now, again, Blackbox is a tool that searches on Amazon, but it's a powerful tool that has advanced filters. And in here, we're gonna enter our criteria so that the tool can search for that wholesale product that we are looking for, all right? And as I enter a criteria, I'll explain to you why so that you can understand the logic behind it and do better searches that are better adapt to your business needs. So the first filter that we're going to configure is the categories filter. Now on Amazon, there are many, many categories. Let's just pick one for the sake of today's exercise to keep it simple. And let's go with arts, crafts, and sewing. And the next one that we're gonna look at is monthly revenue. Here we want something between $500 to $5,000. Again, we want a product that's already selling, that guarantee that we're looking for when buying a wholesale product. On terms of the price, I like to go for anything that has $15 and up, meaning it gives me enough room for margins and also it's not too 
low, whereas I'm losing out on opportunities. We're going to skip reviews and, and, and all that. And we're going to go to shipping tier and size. Uh, for today's exercise, we're just going to pick a small product just to show you the logic behind the search and what we can find just with small products. And also small products are easier to ship into Amazon. It just makes it a lot more easier and simpler to do. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to go for is the amount of sellers. Now, why the amount of sellers is because we want to make sure that the brand allows for more than one seller and we want to limit it to three sellers so that it's not overly saturated already. So that's the reason why we're going to enter in between two to three number of sellers. The next uh, filter that we're going to select is fulfillment. And here we only want sellers that are using FBA and FBM. And we definitely don't want Amazon selling on the listing. Why? It's just because Amazon has a history of tanking or lowering the price so much that we as resellers won't be able to make money. So we're going to select these two only. Number of images. Remember, this is the second important criteria that we want. It's anything between one and three images because we're looking for listings that have been neglected and anything below three is a listing that's been neglected. Variation count, just for this search, we're going to limit it to one because we don't want it to skew our data for this exercise. And that's pretty much it. It's about eight criteria in total. We're going to hit search and our black box is going to pull out all the listings that fit our filters and criteria. All right, now that we have the results, let's take a look. Let's just scan around and see what we have. So we have over 200 results and 200 potential wholesale products that we can contact the supplier and reach out to. So let's just randomly pick one and go to the listing and kind of get the process going. So we got a scissor, we got a pen, we got some beads, some paper transfer, another scissor, another pen, another scissor, another pen. So let's, uh, let's pick this guy. Kind of like the price of it. It's an ergonomic sewing scissors. I'm not sure what that is. The brand name is Kai Scissors and there is a seller. There's only one image. So it kind of fits our criteria. So let's take a look at the listing. So as we suspected, there's only one image. The title in the bullets looks like it could use some improvement in terms of keywords optimization. There's currently one seller on the listing and it's selling at $38.94, which is a good price point for an item that is so small. Let's take a look at the three sellers and see if the brand is selling as well. So we're going to click here, take a look. So from what I can see, there's one seller, Global Industry Supplies, that is selling FBM, so film by merchant. And there's another seller, Universal Sewing Supply, that is selling FBA. So there's not much competition here. And if they're selling, they're able to get it at a certain price that it makes it profitable for them. So it's a potential wholesale product. So we're going to go in and do a research on Google. But before we do that, we're going to spy on the current sellers and see what they're selling to expand our research exponentially. All right. So we're going to click on a list of sellers and we're going to pull up one of them that is selling FBA, Universal Sewing Supply. Let's take a look at what they are selling. To me, the logic is if this store is selling these products, it means that they are able to make profit off of it. This is what we call a reverse sourcing. So right here, we went from one brand now to over 15 brands that we can look and research for. To me, if this store is currently selling these products, is that it means he's able to find these products and make it profitable for him to sell it on Amazon. And that's an opportunity for me to go in and research and see if I can find those sources and compete and grow my account that way. All right, so let's jump back to our example with Kai Scissors. It's easy, we're just gonna Google the brand name Kai Scissors. So right away we see that they have a website. Let's click on the website. So once you land on the website, there are usually three ways to open a retail wholesale account with the supplier. The number one way is that they have an online login or they do advertise online that they do wholesale. So looking at this website right now, without even doing much research, I see that there's a phone number that I can call. I see there's a contact us, but it looks like a website where they sell um, B2C, meaning direct to consumer. So it doesn't look like they are advertising that they are selling wholesale online. They do show a picture where they are part of a trade show. And usually when you, when you have a supply going to trade shows, it's because they are looking for resellers. So I'm pretty sure we can open an account with them. It's just not advertised on their, on their page right now. 
If you go to contact us, let's take a look. Maybe we'll give it a shot. It looks like a simple contact us form for customers. In this situation, what I would do is send them a form with my business name, email address, and enter the details or the script here that I want to open a retail and wholesale account. I would send it off and wait three to five business days. And if they're not responding, I would give them a call and ask if I can open a retail wholesale account. I wrote my script in the comments below, so make sure you pay attention to that. It's a very basic script, very straightforward. It has worked really well for me in the past, so I hope it's gonna work for you as well. Now, don't get discouraged. You may get rejected and it's fine. You can decide to persuade them, give them a call, ask them why and kind of negotiate with them. Uh, that's like another topic and another full video that I can make on top of that. And really it is that simple to find wholesale products and find supplies for that product. But before we leave this screen, I just noticed that they have a show schedule. It means that they take part of trade shows. And here's another cool way of finding other suppliers is that you click on the show schedule and let's see, um, they are, we're part of a Road to California quilt show. If you click on that, it's going to lead you to the trade show website. And on there, you can find additional vendors, usually exhibitors. So if we click, uh, we just hover around a little bit to vendors. You can see here a list of vendors again. And here you have a list of vendors and potential suppliers you can connect with and scout around for products to resell on Amazon. It's definitely a specific niche that you can further explore and expand your business upon that niche. Let's say you got in and you open your wholesale account. The number one thing that you want to do is start comparing their prices to the listings on Amazon. But there's a way to prioritize how you would scan that list. The number one thing that you want to do is prioritize for products that are currently selling. So you can buy and resell those products knowing that they are currently selling. So that's again, a guarantee that you're going to make money. Number two is that look for products that are not yet listed on Amazon. If you list products that are not yet on Amazon, by a brand that's already selling, the odds are those products will sell too. You just don't know at which rate. So you are taking a risk and you are spending a little bit more time creating that listing. But when it's done, then it could be an extra stream of revenue for you. You can all, don't forget to also ask for special deals and liquidation lists because that's where you get a little bit more margins. Usually these special deals and liquidation lists will give you more than 50% off, even like 65, 70% and beyond because they want to get rid of the products on that list. Now, don't forget, as you get more advanced, there's also bundling. Bundling is when you put two products together and resell on Amazon for more profit. All right, so welcome back. So that was a lot of information. What did we get out of today's video? Let's do a quick recap. We found a potential product to wholesale. We found a store with multiple brands and products that we can reverse source. We found a supply with a list of products. We found a specific niche to further explore. And we found a list of legit vendors that was pretty cool right anyway that is all for today if this video was helpful to you make sure you hit the like button and this was only one of my favorite techniques i'll be sharing more in the next videos so make sure you subscribe if this is something you're interested in so are you doing wholesale yet if not why and let me know in the comments below all right cheers rookie and i'll see you in the next video